Gente, ¿cómo están? Today is July 3rd, so tomorrow it means it's July 4th. So that means Independence Day, and we're doing a Cuban pig barbecue. That's right. So we're going to go pick up the pig right now. We're going to do all the marinating, and we're going to talk about what we're going to make throughout the weekend and make a dope, dope Independence Day cookout. Then we arrive here at the pig farm. We're very excited about to get me that lechoncito. Can't film inside. <laughs> But here is the outside look of it. We are on top of a mountain. Entonces, así vamos a hacer. Here he is. Small one. It's only 20 pounds. But that's perfect for a barbecue, papito. Say bye-bye. Yo, what's up? So we're finally here. We made it from the pig farm at the restaurant. We're going to prep this up, do the mojo marinade and all that stuff. And that's coming up. Let's see it right over here. So what I'm pretty much going to do is this really comes together here is a 20 pounder. Just gonna run our knife there, kind of break it apart. And then you wanna break open the ribs like so, because this is gonna go down on the grip, right? So all that flavor is gonna come up. But what I'm gonna do a little bit different is I'm gonna come around the ribs, I'm gonna go around the ribs here on both sides, and I'm gonna put the mojo marinade right behind it, a little bit of herb and all that good stuff. Put it back, let it marinate overnight, and tomorrow. We're gonna cook it. It's gonna be delicious. All that flavor is gonna be infused. It's gonna be outstanding. As for the skin, you wanna put holes in it. I'm not talking about stabbing or nothing like that. You gotta take care of it. So what I have here is a meat tenderizer. All right. So we have a beautiful meat tenderizer here. It's very good. So what it's gonna do is gonna penetrate the skin. So when it's cooking, all that fat is gonna melt off. So you're gonna get a nice crispy, crackling skin, that chicharron. And that's what we want. So we're gonna put this bad boy tomorrow for five hours, for 4th of July, and it's gonna be good, it's gonna be delicious, and make sure you gotta smack it right in the ass. You're gonna tenderize it. Right, baby. That's it. You gotta do it good. You gotta do it strong, it's a nice little workout. Yes. Estamos con el mojito. Here we are with the mojo that we're gonna make for the marinade. Aquí, here's an inside look. Before we blend it up, we got oranges, lemons, other stuff riquísimo in there. But I can't tell you because it's a secret. But it's gonna be delicious. Mojo marinade time. Greg Carson, if you're watching this, check this out. This is the trick. This is the deliciousness. This is what we're tying together this Cuban Fourth of July. So we took uh, pretty much and went around with the knife and separated the ribs, as you can see. So we're gonna be adding this awesome mojo that we made earlier. We're gonna be putting it right in there. Nice little layer. As you can see, we can get a little close. Thank you, sir. We're gonna put it right in there. And then we just gonna kind of press it down. So now all the juices come out. We're gonna do that on the same side here. Press it down. So what it's gonna do, is gonna penetrate the meat. It's gonna penetrate the pork. It's gonna tenderize a little bit more. I made some insertions in here, some holes, so that kind of marinade gets in there, tenderizes it, it makes it real nice, and adds that sazon, all right? This will be perfect, not only for a party, but for a telecom. And here it is, right in the oven. We're gonna put it at 300 degrees right now for a couple of hours, just to uh, get it cooking slowly, get the fat melting, and then we're gonna put it up to about 450 degrees to get the skin brown and just right. Stay tuned. All right, people, let's see. We're gonna check out the pig. It's been in here for four and a half hours. As you can see, right here is nicely caramelized. The skin is perfectly brown, it's beautiful. And right here is what we call un lechoncito cubano. Red Carton, check this out. You need this at a New York Giants tailgate party. But today it's gonna be for 4th of July, Cuban style. Y así es, papito. Aquí tenemos el lechoncito. We made this thing today. It looks beautiful. We saw the process. Greg Carn, I want to be on your show at the New York Giants Stadium doing a Cuban tailgate. Bueno, vamos a comer. Toma.